part that you mentioned in my last part that you performed before. Which is part of it, because it's branded in food. You need a real... Exactly. Yeah. I don't have the right word for it. This is the best. This is my dream to come home and also can I uh, um, inspire the youth? And this is where I started. And I'm coming back here with um, Taitu and um, also changing the perception of Nigeria around the world, flying the flag. So it's, it's a great honor to be back. And I'm, I'm grateful to be here as well. And I will be defending my IBF in London on the 13th, I believe, 13 or 12 uh, December. So that is the big day, that's a step at a time, that's what I'm looking forward to. And after that, looking to have a world title shot in Nigeria next year. It will be lovely to have a Nigerian to celebrate their own and support their own, invest in it, and we come up with the end result. Look, to have another world champion, like right here in Nigeria, probably Lagos. Ninja! I don't come home, uh, maybe I support your guy. So, you know, maybe I might need to just load my road that way, you know? So, guys, it's, um, also, you have to remember, there's so many kids out there that's, like, fantastic. Like, they've got amazing talent, natural talent. If we don't support them, it's just going to go to waste. You have to remember, not all these kids are going to be academically smart. That doesn't mean they know, they're not going to be useful for the community. But... No, you can be a boxer, you can be a wrestler, you can be whatever you want to be. Like the Great Britain, like they do over there, they will they will get the kids that are antisocial, take them to the to the gym, boxing gym, and let them channel all those energy there. Let's do the same here. Let's have the boxing academy right here. Look at the look at this. If we have more of this around Nigeria, we will have so many world champions. Look, Anthony Joshua. We have about 20 to 30 Anthony Joshua walking around Lagos alone. So let's support our own. Let's and view if we can get boxing to Nigeria, we will raise another like that's another revenue. You will create jobs for people that have no jobs. We have the foreign people come over here and invest. A lot of people are scared to come to Nigeria because of the, the perception about Nigeria. But if we can, boxing is the only sport that will bring people full board. I think sport in general. We bring everyone together, and no one is scared to come to anywhere when it comes to sport. And boxing will be one of it. You can walk on the street, see two guys playing football. You walk past, or playing long tennis. You walk past. I'm not downgrading none of this, but if you see two guys fighting, everyone stop and watch. You know what I mean? So that's just what it is. I've always been part of history because uh, we go way back to since when we were both in Nigeria. You know, him training in Mushin, I was training in Shomolu. Well, I've, I've always been his big brother, so whenever, and when I started traveling, whenever I travel and come back, he'll come and train with me, very, very uh, intelligent guy, and he wants to learn. You know, he'll come and train with me all the time, he's not asking for money, he just want to come and train. I think Larry Akundayo is winning the world title very soon. Our plan is that we start to stage some fights in Lagos, and to, to create awareness and to force the government to start talking to Nigerian boxers. In the UK alone, we have no less than 12 Nigerian boxers. Some of them as young as 19, and they are winning all their tournaments in England. But many of them are fighting for, in, for England. So what we are planning to do is to convert them into Nigeria, because Larry Ekundayo is a good example of a Nigerian who refused to fight for Great Britain. Larry's a very proud Nigerian, so when he won the title, we wanted to come back and give thanks to the people that have supported us, uh, So uh, and to the people, show the title to the people. Larry's a great boxer, he's um, uh, a, a natural, uh, and that's why he's called the natural, natural mover. Um, what happens is that uh, as a Nigerian overseas, he doesn't get given the same opportunities as British fighters. So if he was British or American, he'd already be world champion. But he's uh, Nigerian, so what we're trying to do is get Nigeria to support their own. Everyone loves Anthony Joshua, but Larry's the one that wears green, white and green.